let's face it, Windows just sucks. Boring wallpaper, messy icons and a taskbar that's stuck in the past. But let's be real, Windows could look so much better, so let us fix that. With just a few simple installations, we can give your desktop widgets, a unique music visualizer, translucent menus, and a fully customizable file explorer. Plus, we're adding actually useful features like a powerful search launcher and advanced window management. So stick around, because by the end of this video, your setup will be exactly like this. Stunning and insanely functional. First things first, let us quickly change some settings to tidy up your PC. To start, let's hide the desktop icons. To do that right, click your desktop, got a view and on toggle show desktop icons here. For the taskbar also, right, click it and go to the settings. Here hide the search icon like so, and on toggle task view and widgets. Now for our last step in the cleanup, let's give your PC a new fresh and minimalistic wallpaper. I have linked you this one in the description. So go ahead and download it. To set it up again, right, click the desktop, then go to personalize. In the menu, go to background and click on browse here. Now just select the image and you are all set. Your PC should look a whole lot cleaner now, but we are far from done. First, let us upgrade the Windows menus like the Start menu with a very powerful tool called Windhawk. You can download the tool with the link in the description. The installation is pretty simple. Just install the app in a folder of your choice. After the install, you are graded with this menu where you can choose from tons of useful mods, but let's focus on my favorite here. To begin, let's get the taskbar styler by clicking on details here. Note to proceed, hit install and ignore this message as these skins are all checked to be safe. As you can see, there are tons of different styles to choose for your taskbar. To set them up, click on settings. Below themes, open this menu and select the squircle theme. And don't forget to save the settings. This already looks a lot cleaner, but let us proceed by also upgrading the start menu. For that, locate the start menu styler and go to details. Now just install it like before. Again, to choose the style of the mod, click on settings. This time, we are choosing the translucent style as this will fit greatly to the next mod we will use. Enable it here and of course, save everything. If you like, you can also try out the other options like this one. To get the last Windhawk skin type notification in the search bar and click on the notification styler. This skin will also allow your notifications to be transparent, matching to your start menu. The installation is like before. Now quickly go to the settings and there select the transparent option, hit save and we are all set for Windhawk. Just take a look at the incredible clean new start menu and the modern new look of your notifications menu. All paired with a simple and aesthetic taskbar. Personally, I just love the frosted windows design of these menus. With these steps completed, we will now install RainMeter to place some beautiful widgets on your home screen. Download the app from the link in the description and set it up quickly. Now to actually place widgets on your desktop, we still need RainMeter skins. The first we will get is the Jackscore skin, also linked in the description. Let me quickly run you through the setup. After the installation, you are graded with this menu. Click Get Started to begin the setup. Here, click Continue. The same goes for these options and the next menu Click proceed now to finish the process. After that, you can choose what to install. For this video, unselect these skins at the top. Here at the bottom, select modular clocks, modular players, and modular visualizer. And then click on install. Now let's set up the modular clock. For that, go to the library and there on there, click on modular clock. In the settings, click on general and select this type of clock here. Additionally, go to appearance here. There, on toggle show date and show weather, as we will use another rain meter widget for that. Now, increase the size to 1.5 by clicking here and typing in the value. After that, don't forget to enable the widget with this switch. You can easily center it by right-clicking the widget and then clicking on Align and then selecting Align horizontally. I am a big fan of the minimalistic design of the clock. Now let's set up the music widget. For that, go to Modular Players. This time, the setup is really simple. Go to General and then select this layout. After that, just activate the widget. In my opinion, this looks really clean with a glass-like aesthetic and it gives you great control over your music, which is also useful. For our last customization tweak, I will show you this incredibly cool music visualizer behind the wallpaper. The first step to this mod is to remove a section of the wallpaper. To do that, open the image in your Windows Photo app and click on Edit. Here, use the Background Remover tool to remove the upper part of the image. As you can see, not everything was selected, so use the Brush tool to remove the missing parts. To complete the edit, click on Remove here and then save the image as a copy like I did. This image can now be overlaid over your desktop to partially hide certain elements of your desktop. For that, we will use the Overlayer tool from Jackscore. You can install like before form the library. Just click on Overlayer and then on the Install button. Go to General now and click on Layering Image and select the image we created before. Don't forget to enable the changes. Also make sure the image is on the right layer. For that, right click it, go to Layer and select negative one there. With the overlayer finished, we still need to set up the visualizer to get the overlaying effect. 
Again, go to the library and there on the visualizer. First, go to layer here and select this option for the style. Navigate to appearance and increase the colors to two by typing that here. Now to change the colors, right click them. For the first color type, 16, 52, 66. For the second color type, 236, 213, 199. Just apply the widget now and we are finished with Jack's core. As promised, I will also show you a working weather widget. You can get this widget through the link in the description, download the file and Raymeter will install it for you. To select the proper location, click on custom skin actions and then on edit weather. This will prompt you to open your notepad, so do that. In here, you can find a section where you can set the coordinates for the needed location. You can use Google Maps to find your coordinates. If you have selected a location, you can copy them from the URL here. Now paste them in the correct order. The first is the latitude and the second the longitude. Don't forget to save the file. If the widget is displaying no weather, go to the same settings. Now navigate to the part where the weather API is and copy the API code from the description there. This should fix the issues after a refresh. It's time for a small sneak peek on the setup now. Take a look how much cleaner and more functional your new setup already is. Especially those features like the overlayer effect really elevate the desktop in my opinion. But we are far from finished. As promised, I will now also show you some features that go beyond just visual changes and will significantly improve your productivity. The first tool I want to show you are the Windows Power Toys, an incredible versatile tool that gives you tons of extra features and shortcuts. You can easily get it from the Microsoft Store and the installation is very simple. When you first open the app, you are greeted with tons of different shortcuts you can look into. Let me show you my favorite ones. The first one is Fancy Zone's tool to better arrange your windows when multitasking. You can find it under Windowing. Here you can find the shortcut with what you can access the tool. For me it's this one, but it will most likely be different for you and you can also choose one. When you have pressed the shortcut, you can create a new layout with this button here. In this editor, you can now arrange the areas for tabs completely custom. When finished, press save and exit. To place the tabs in the areas, you have to press shift and drag them there. This tool is really great for all people who like the multitasking of windows but want to optimize it to their liking. With the next tool, you can save a lot of time as it gives you a shortcut with what you can search almost anything. You can find the tool called Power Toys Run under System Tools. Here is the shortcut for the tool. Now let me show you the tool. For example, you can solve some math problems with it or open apps but that's not too different to the normal search tool. However, you can also open files with it or search the internet for websites. Another really handy tool for everybody working with colors is the color picker. You can also find it under the system tools. Here is the shortcut to activate it. As you can see with this tool, we can get all the values for any color on your screen. So if you ever wanted to reproduce a color somewhere, you can now the next tool that I want to show is great for text editing as you can transform text in different data formats with it. This is called Advanced Paste and it's also under System Tools. If you want the full functions, you can actually connect this tool to ChatGPT which is really cool. But for now, here is the shortcut for the normal tool. If you have copied a text, you can use the shortcut to get to this menu and select the file type. To run off the video, let's install our last tool, the new File Explorer which not only looks cool, but also offers great additional functions. Just go to the link in the description and from the website, download the app by clicking on download and then on the small link here. If you click on one of the other links, you will have to pay. The installation will run through the Microsoft Store, so don't be surprised. When you first start the app, it's still a bit boring, so let me quickly show how you can enhance the look. To do that, click on the gear at the right top corner to get to the settings. The first thing we will enable is the dual tab features, which is actually not cosmetic, but really useful. Toggle it on here. Now let's go to appearance. First go to backdrop and in this menu, select the thin acrylic effect. For the color, I chose the cool blue bright as it fits best to the background image. This looks already a lot cleaner than the normal file explorer. If you want, you can also set an image for the background. Again, go in the settings. Now in appearance, scroll a bit down and click on browse here. Then just select the image you like, for example, our background picture. Now let's take a look at the features. This is the dual tab mode I talked about before. I really like this feature as it makes it very easy to transfer files from one folder to another. A bit less powerful is this feature that can display your downloads with these icons. What's also cool is that you can take files and sort them that way which can be really useful for good file management. The last great feature is the improved selection of elements as you don't need to press control to select multiple files here. You can just do this by clicking on the icons. Now with everything installed, you have the perfect Windows setup. Your wallpaper is sleek and minimalistic, complete with useful widgets like a music player and weather updates. And let's not forget the eye-catching visualizer behind the mountains. It's a subtle but super cool touch. But the best part? You now have access to powerful Windows shortcuts that will seriously boost your efficiency and productivity. Personally, I love the modern file manager and power toys. They bring game-changing features like the color picker, custom window layouts, and an advanced search menu that makes navigating your PC effortless. 
If you are also a big fan of these kind of tutorials, then you should definitely give our website a visit where we have all of our customization setups linked. And if you really want to get into the community, join our Discord server also linked in the description. Besides that, you can of course subscribe to the channel and like the video to support what we do.